Hey everyone, today let us learn about message box using VPA. Message box can be used to alert the users for some action or you know some error happened or your process is completed etc. Now let's see how a message box is initiated. Now for that go to your developer tab and click on Visual Basics. You can also use um, your shortcut key that is Alt plus F11. Yeah. If you use Alt plus F11, let's see what will happen. I clicked Alt plus F11 and the Visual Basic Editor window opened for me. Now, you can write your code here. Now, this is the code window for Sheet 1. This is the code editor window for this workbook. But I would suggest you go ahead and insert a new module so that your code will be safe, even if you delete your sheets accidentally thereafter. Now, I already have a few modules created. Now, I'll go and write my code anywhere here. Now, we can write our code in this space. Let's start by writing a sub procedure. So, and after that, we can give any name for that. But it is ideally suggested that you go ahead and give a name that resembles the project you are doing so that in future it will be easy for you to understand what it is. I'll give message box try. Now, if the spelling is wrong, okay, message box try. Now, as soon as I click enter, it is going to create an end sub for me. So, I'll be writing my code in between the sub and the end sub. Let me create some extra space for me so that it will be easy for you to understand. Yeah, so I will be writing my code in this piece. Let's start with the message box code. Now, the keyword for writing message box is msgbox. B or X. Now, as soon as you click spacebar, it's going to show you the syntax. See, so this is the syntax for message box in VBA. Now, let's get into each of them. Now, for message box, only the prompt is mandatory. That is, the message you want to display to the users. For example, let me say, after you have finished running a program, you want to let the users know that uh, the code is successful or um, you want to let the users know that uh, today's date is this or, you know, tomorrow you have to do that. That is an alert you want to display. So the message is a mandatory thing in message box because if there is no message, there is no need for a message box, right? Now, the message should be a string. Let's write this is a trial okay, message. Now, this is what I want to display as a message. Let's quickly run this and see. See, this is a trial message. Now, this has a lot of limitations. For example, this shows Microsoft Excel as the title. No, I want something custom. For example, I want to show, uh, you know, a lot or error or something that resembles the, or something that is more related to the topic that we are displaying, right? And there is only one button. What if I want a suggestion? Like, what if I want to give yes or no or cancel or these things? Let's look into those features. Now, this is the mandatory field. There are many optional fields. It is, as soon as you enter comma, it will suggest you the type of buttons you can add. Now, there is yes, no, cancel. That is, you can add three buttons. Let's see. See, there are three buttons, namely yes, no, and cancel. Now, why is this useful? Because in future, if you want to give some conditions, let's say, if the user clicks on yes, then the program should do this thing. If the user clicks on no, the program should do another thing. See, that's the use of different buttons coming here. There are other buttons as well, but let's talk about something very basic so that it's easier for you to understand. I have given VB yes, no. As the name suggests, it will give you yes and no button. Yes and no. Now, let's see what the next syntax part is. Title. Title is basically, let's see, without the title. See, if you run the program without title, it's going to show Microsoft Excel as the title here. We want to customize it. Instead of Microsoft Excel, we want to give a value that we want it to show. 
let's put title as you can see title is written inside so let's give title title is a string let's write it inside double inverted commas okay this is an example for title I'm going to run the program and see what's the output. See, the title is what we gave, the message is what we gave, the buttons are what we gave. So everything is customized, everything is according to what we want the users to see. Right, there is one more part of the syntax that is help file. Now, what is help file? For example, there is a message being shown to the user and the user needs some help so when they click on the help button it will take you to a website or some other place where it will show you some user manuals so that is what our help file is and let me remind you these all things are very optional things only the message is mandatory so if you don't want to include a help file don't do it so let us enter a help file See, this is a very random name just I just wrote. See, this is a very random name I just wrote down now. Now, when I run this, I'll probably get an error. See, invalid procedure call or argument. Why did I get an error? No, it is not because I wrote a random name. Because whenever you enter a help file, you should enter a context as well. Now, a context is a numerical value and you enter it. Now let's see. See, the code didn't have any errors at all, but there is no use of help file because I can't see a help button at all. So I should add a button for help. Let's see. There is a help button here and I've added the help button. Now I have this help button here. What will happen when I click help button? It took me to our website so this is the default website for help buttons but you don't want this website to launch every time someone clicks your project's help button right so for that you can customize your own help button by creating a help file now that is something advanced and you'll be learning it in future videos I hope everybody understood what a message box in VBA is and if you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe.